Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Metallurgical Engineering. Today in this video we will discuss about the types of dislocation. So first we will see the types of uh, dislocation and what are the two factors which defines the dislocation. Okay. So basically we see two types of dislocation that is first is edge second is screw there is also one another kind that is like uh, mixed for edge and screw okay so but here we will talk about basically two edge and screw dislocation and what are the two factors on which dislocation uh, depends or we can define the uh, dislocation with the help of these two factors so first is Berger vector okay and second is dislocation line okay so uh, two factors which defines the dislocation first is uh, Berger vector and second is dislocation line so <coughs> let's start with the Berger vector what is Berger vector so ah, this so the shortest translational vector in a single sentence if we will define the Berger vector then it is the shortest translational vector okay okay so and uh, apart from the shortest translational vector uh, we can also say for the determination of a uh, Berger vector which is found in or can be determined determined by Poser's circuit <coughs> okay so this is how we can define the Burgess vector next dislocation line so dislocation line it can be represented by T okay so it is an invariant for a crystal while the line vector is not invariant okay <coughs> so this is about the Burgess vector and dislocation line this defines and this is how the we can define the dislocation line okay so now we will see in a uh, just be the arrangement of few atoms what is the birth vector and dislocation line okay so there is arrangement of a few atoms okay just for an example <coughs> here we can see that this is vacant place there is no atom <coughs> is a 2d picture if we will assume in the 3d then there is a column or row okay so we will go inside of this uh, plane then we can see there is a row of atoms is missing okay so this is what defect this is the place where we can found the dislocation so this is what about dislocation okay so this is a positive dislocation so edge is also of two type positive and negative positive edge and negative edge and this is also the same positive and negative but first we will talk about the dislocation only so this is a kind of dislocation this is the edge dislocation with positive sign so here this is how and this is the dislocation line and this is the complete plane okay 
and about the Berger circuit if we will talk about then if we are starting from here and we will go through like this and we will come here and we have to follow it then we can see that there is a single distortion we have to face so this is the distance which is called okay I'll clean it yeah this this distance is called the Berger's vector okay the shortest translational vector so this is your like if we'll complete the circuit like this then this much space is left or the distance between the two atoms is left that is called the shortest translational vector which is called Berger's vector okay yeah now we will see few uh, properties of edge and screw dislocation so the properties are like here we will put properties and here edge and screw ok so one by one we will see what is the relation between Berger vector and dislocation line for the edge ok so relation between Berger vector and dislocation line in case of edge ok so we will see that it is perpendicular ok for a screw this is parallel ok next we will see slip direction to Berger vectors what is the relation between slip direction to Berger vector in case of edge so this is parallel ok next for a screw we will see this is also parallel ok next we will see dislocation line move to Berger vector what is the relation between the dislocation line movement dislocation line movement to Berger vector I will just separate this part yeah so this is also parallel in case of edge but perpendicular in case of in case of screw ok ok so what kind of process involved in case of edge dislocation so climbing climbing is the main process which is involved in edge case of edge and cross slip in case of screw because of here in case of edge we got the specific planes to move but in case of screw there is no specific plane so it will be cross slipped next we will see what is the velocity of motion velocity of motion so for this case edge this will be faster because of defined planes are available here slower ok because the number of uh, planes are available which is not even defined for a particular motion next we will see about strain energy strain energy so in case of uh, edge dislocation strain energy will be more and in case of screw dislocation strain energy will be less so uh, this is all about the properties for edge and screw differentiation now we will just visualize like visualization of edge dislocation so for example i will just show you a few things like how to visualize so if we just consider this is a plane in 2d and uh, i'll try to make one extra half plane over here like this ok so we call it extra half plane and this one we call it slip plane and this will be the 
Burgers vector. Okay, this one will be the called Burgers vector. If we are trying to define the, or we are trying to visualizing edge dislocation. Okay, and where is the dislocation line? So this is the dislocation line okay so here we can see clearly that the dislocation line is this okay Burgers vector is this so we can see this is perpendicular to each other okay so uh, this is the the line is tilted only because of your visualization actually it is like uh, 90 degree exact 90 degree so this is about the dislocation line and this is all about the Burgers vector okay so increase of uh, edge it will make the perpendicular that is 90 degree okay yeah so in this video up to here only so this is all about the uh, Burgers vector like types of dislocation edge and screw and how we can define the dislocation so based on the Burgers vector and dislocation line we can define it and what are the definition of Burgers vector dislocation line and uh, just how is the imperfection in a uh, crystal arrangement crystal lattice arrangement it is shown here and uh, the difference between the edge and screw based on the few properties like relation between Burgers vector and dislocation line slip direction to Burgers vector and the dislocation line movement to Burgers vector process involved velocity of motion and strain energy yeah so in this video up to here only kindly keep watching and like share subscribe our youtube channel thank you